Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another Shamshir Sound video. My name is Ali Nadam. Before we jump into the video, I want to let you guys know that my sample pack, Ali Nadam Signature Sounds Volume 1, has dropped. It is an enormous sample pack. I've put a lot of care into it, and I'm sure you guys are going to find some crazy inspirations and incredible sounds that you guys are going to make. Over 2,000 samples, over 150 massive patches, all created by me, and we also had some uh, superb six other producers on board. So check that out in the video description if you guys are interested. It's a free download. So today I'm going to be talking about um, fake MP3s, like fake 320 MP3s. So what do I mean by that? Um, if you guys are DJing, if you use Virtual DJ, Traktor, um, Serato, whatever you guys want to use, CDJs, you'll know that there are a lot of times... Sometimes it's done intentionally, sometimes it's not done intentionally, but there will be uh, MP3s that circulate on the internet that are not actually the high fidelity that you're looking for. And a lot of times we judge that by, you know, listening. Obviously, if it sounds bad, then there's a problem. Um, and we also look at the size, but there are more tools that we can use to easily identify if there is a problem. So... What do I mean by fake uh, fake MP3s? Um, say, for example, if you know a novice or somebody or someone online wants to maybe write a blog and be like, "Hey, grab this free MP3," and um, obviously they want to maybe present it as like, "Oh, it's a high fidelity download. It's high quality." You know, all those bootleg sites and all that. Uh, sometimes what they might do is they might re-encode a file, a rip, uh, a web rip, a SoundCloud rip, a YouTube rip. I don't know, a Spotify rip or something. And the result is the, the consumer or the DJ might think that he's getting an MP3 320 kilobytes per second, but it's actually much lower quality and maybe even worse because of that re-encoding. So when you guys use Edison, hit S and you'll be able to see this uh, spectrum analysis. And the spectrum analysis will show you the fidelity and the color and you can really get an idea you know, of course, trust your ears, but when you look at this, you'll be able to say, okay, you know what? It's capped around 20 kilohertz. It'll say that at the top left. And when we throw in a 128, you can see that it's capped so much lower. We lose so much more high fidelity. All that air in the presence is gone. And unfortunately, if we just judge this by size, the fake 320 is a similar size. So if I name this one like Ali and Adam you know, banger, and then this one, Ali and Adam banger, a consumer wouldn't know. They'd just be like, oh, it's the same size. It's, it's all good. And if they haven't trained their ears, they won't be able to distinguish that. And the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I was preparing a mix today. And so let's go ahead and throw the fake 320. So the fake 320, you can see they're similar. Yeah, it's the same size, but we have it capped off around 15 kilohertz, 16 kilohertz. And so, guys, I want you to, um, when you guys are mixing, when you guys are getting downloads, um, make sure that you listen to the track, but also you make sure that you throw it into something like this, or I think uh, they say Audacity also has this feature, and you'll be able to take a look and see, because the waveform doesn't tell the full story, but by looking at the spectrum, you'll be able to better know. Furthermore, when we look at other artists, so for example, here's a Quintino, um, here is his track, how it's done. We're going to throw in another example, another two. And you can see number two, whoa, all of a sudden we just got a lot more detail. But it turns out number two is actually smaller. So don't let the size and the name really uh, tell the whole story because sometimes people are going to be deceitful with what they upload online or they might actually, as I said, deceitful because there were people like Mord Fustang back in the day. They'd upload like fake songs like... You'd be playing it, and if you grabbed the pirated version, it would just muffle up and all this garbage would play halfway in the song, which was would be very bad if you're playing live or if you're playing in, in front of a lot of people. That's very embarrassing. Um, I, don't, I don't endorse that. I think that music should be free, accessible to everybody, and if people want to purchase it, let them purchase it. But we're in the age of streaming. You know, We should all be able to access music and listen to music. So here again, we can see here, here's another one. We lost some fidelity. We take another one, minute change, subtle change. But we can see that of all of these ones, one would think, okay, number one is the biggest size, but it turns out that number two actually has a bit more fidelity in it. 
So uh, take a look at that. Use Edison. Hit S to switch to the Spectrum mode. And I hope you guys can take uh, this insight into when you guys are doing live mixes, when you're doing podcasts, things like that. I just wanted to share this two cents because it's really annoying when we download a file and it's false advertising. Like It's not what we got. Obviously, if you download from an outlet that uh, is for sure they tell you you get a wave, then you know what you're getting. But sometimes we can't find certain tunes or we don't have the ability to get a tune and we have to bootleg it or download it from some you know, weird site. And so using this method, using your ears, also taking a look at the spectrum is going to help you guys really weed out the bad tracks and uh, really help your mixes and other stuff too. So guys, if you guys uh, enjoyed this tip, be sure to drop a like, be sure to drop a comment. Let me know if the you guys have any other tips you guys use to weed out like bad tracks or fake 320 MP3s, whatever it might be. I'd love to know in the comment section. And make sure you guys are subscribed. I believe we're almost 200 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. It seems you guys really love the big room tutorials. You really love the music tutorials. So I'm going to be making another series where we go again in depth. I want to make some like Blaster Jacks, w and w kind of stuff. So uh, be on the lookout for that. And guys, be sure to grab that sample pack. I will see you guys soon. Take care.